His metal sculptures have been featured in churches, cancer centers, and college campuses. But this time of the year, Dave Badman, a metalsmith and designer, is busy filling orders for shoppers' Christmas lists. The Grand Forks business owner is once again set to sell out of this season's handmade heirloom ornament. That story tonight from WDAY News reporter Kevin Wallivant. When you walk into Badman Design in downtown Grand Forks, they greet you. A tree full of this year's special ornament. And the designer and artist behind it all? Well, I'm just, I'm soldering the top to the ornament as I had somebody else complete the ornament and I'm just putting the top on it right now. Longtime businessman, Dave Badman, who is today soldering two copper and brass halves together. You create 200 a year and they're all dated in addition. Of another heirloom ornament he is famous for. And they get very hot. Yeah, and people, uh, there is a, there's a population that waits for this, and I will not let anybody see it while it's during production. Dave came to Grand Forks years ago when his father was stationed at the Air Force Base. When everyone else moved, Dave stayed and went to UND, where as an art student, his work caught the eye of a professor who told him to pursue a career as a jeweler. <laughs> well, I was wrong, but my response was jewelry was for women, and... She fought me on it. Since the 90s, Dave has been creating all kinds of things, but his heirloom ornaments made of copper and brass and nickel sell out nearly every year. Nearly 200 of them, all handmade. Each year, the design is different. Many are custom made for families. It's, we call it an heirloom ornament because it does, and it is, since we've been doing it for so many years, it is being passed down from generation and uh, many of the original people purchasing them are no longer wanting to collect and they're giving to their children or even their grandchildren. Dave also creates 145 sets of three flat Christmas ornaments. He and metalsmith Hayes Meiderman will not only solder the spheres together, but put the polish to them preparing them for a special spot to hang on a tree. Beginning or continuing a family tradition somewhere. In Grand Forks, Kevin Wallop and WDAY News. The handmade metal ornaments cost anywhere between $90 and $150. To learn more about the Christmas ornaments and Badman's metalwork, you can check out this story at inforum.com. They're beautiful and so interesting to see the process. And a reputation. Right. If you don't know what it's going to look like, but you still want one. Right. Yeah, that's a priceless reputation.